In this session, we'll be introducing to new enhancement in ANSA and META for safety domain. To start with, we have added a new tool in ANSA for human body model positioning, the articulation tool, and the existing marinity tool has been updated to accommodate the HBM models. We have also added a new tool in META post, namely human body model post for post-processing human body models using D3 plots and the existing OIC tool has been updated to extract occupant injury results from human dummy models. Two new plugins are introduced to assist the user for Euro and cap, HPM pre and post for H point and back angle determination, uh, determination uh, for Euro and cap whiplash protocol and the knee mapping plugin based on Euro and cap knee mapping regulations. Two more plugins are also introduced to assist the user uh, in, uh, in airbag folding and passenger airbag modeling. The, from version V21, we have introduced a new tool to position the HBM, the HBM articulation tool, and the existing marinity tool has been updated to accommodate human dummy models positioning using LS Stein as solver. Human dummy models positioned using articulation tool do not require a LS Dyna pre simulation run. Key things to note in order to use the HPM positioning tool, the user needs to load metadata files. These files contain all the kinematic and morphing information needed for the model articulation. Also, each HPM has unique metadata files. The files can be obtained by contacting beta CA systems. Uh, using articulation tool, all the positions can be saved as kinematic positions. User can export node keyword to use as a include for read-only HBM file. All the existing safety tools like seat belt positioning, seat belts can be coupled with HBM. All the feedbacks are and the required tool updates are most welcome. Currently, answer supports the Pfeiffer, Safer, Thumbs, and global human body models. Now, the HPM articulation tool can be launched from analysis tool panel. The tool consists of three tabs. Uh, the biofertilitic move. This tab is used to perform complex biofertilitic moves that require more than one joint. The rotate tab is used to perform simple moves where only really one joint is required. The translate tab is used to translate the whole HBM from one location to another. The tool has visibility option where the user can quickly switch between different levels of model by isolating the skeleton, muscles, flesh and skin. Now let's go and play a demo. What you see here is a thumbs model. From the, uh, from the analysis tool, launch the HBM articulation tool import the metadata thumbs metadata file as said earlier these are unique for every dummies once you uh, import in the biofertilitic move tab we can see 12 configuration loaded for the thumbs model and each configuration has uh, is a group of joints that corresponds to pen, uh, specific move now let's perform an extension of the left me. Select the corresponding uh, configuration and we move. The user has also the ability to off the skin to inspect the flesh morphing with the movement. Similarly, he can hide the flesh and muscles to inspect the movement of the bones. Now let's perform a left shoulder flexion. Similarly, similarly bring back the flesh visibility to absorb the fresh of the flesh morphing absorb the flesh morphing and then we can go and also import the skin back skin to see the skin morphing during the actual moment the user has also Simil uh, now let's perform for a single rotation like the upper leg rotation we can pick from the screen 
and rotate it interactively. Translate tab is used to translate the entire dummy from one location to another. The user has an option to save this position as kinematic position which can be retrieved from the database browser later. He can also output a star node, a star node keyword to use with read only HBM models. Finally, there is a tab for previous to go to the previous move and an initial tab to initialize the dummy movement to global system. Also, the HPN can be positioned using Marinetti tool. The tool generates a less than a preservation model for preservation. The steps involved in positioning the tools are very similar to all crash ATDs. With this, I end the HPM positioning demo. Going to the next slide, the human body model post. The human body post tool creates a presentation report that includes kinematics and injury calculation of human body models. Strain damage measure of the brain, strain energy density criterion for soft tissue, abdominal organs can be added in the presentation report. A slide with a chest band compression can also be created as well as the user based on the user input. It also offers the functionality for interactive evaluation of the result in meta. The supported HBMs are global human body 5th, 50th and 95th percentile dummy. Now let's uh, run a demo here. Uh, so first from the uh, launch the human body model post tool from the user toolbar, crash and safety. Select the HBM type the solver type, load the D3 plots, select the unit system, select the orientation of the model, ID offset if required and the H and the and the vehicle sets that will be displayed in the presentation. Define the follow notes and let's play the animation. Now let's go to the interactive, uh, interactive evaluation tab. The user has an option to display the groups. These groups are created automatically by Meta when you read the files using this tool. The tool also re reads the plastic strain and major principal strain results that are needed for the report creation. Here are a few examples of the groups that are automatically generated when you use the, this tool to read the D3 plots. You have an option to select plastic strain and major plastic strain. and then the failure time S similarly the ids of the fail element can be controlled from this tab by going to the settings panel you can select the plastic range type animation quality and finally set the major principal strain threshold value that is used for the CSDM criterion calculation. Now going back to the read results, define the head accelerometer node, define the sets containing the upper, middle and lower chest band. If this is defined, the max compression of the chest band will be calculated in the table.
create the report select the slides based on the based, based on your requirement and the load case now once this once you execute this command you will there is a bunch of sample pdfs generated the pdfs have both images as as videos based on the requirements the next slides are the slides of the actual report generated using metapost so this is the first slide usually is the slide of the global views the second slide is of the section view of the global human body the third is the it shows the eroded elements in the body structure the element eroded in the ligaments head kinematics and brain strains the brain csdm calculation the uh, head skull and facial bone strain energies the neck region kinematics the kinematics of the rib cage area thorax region kinematics and strain chest band uh, chest band deformations the thorax region uh, thorax region with heart and lungs the organs with canem uh, or internal organs kinematics of the internal organs abdominal organ strain energy density the head spine pelvis kinematics the abdominal region lumbar kinematics and so on the upper legs the lower extremities going to the next topic the global uh, GMH injury numbers can now be extracted using the OIC toolbar the process of extracting remains the same where the user needs to just fill in the Excel with the required channel data execute the command for the numbers now, regarding the occupant injury created criteria toolbar there is also a possibility to extract specific restrained results such as steering column belts airbags for each processed occupant it is also possible to use multiple entities IDs for CA channels separated by dollars. Finally, another new feature is to export all the created curves in ASCII file format. One file is created for each curve. Now, going to the next topic, the plugin, uh, the knee mapping. This is a plugin that guides the user to position the seat and the dummy to meet uh, to meet the Euro and CAP regulations. Now let's play a demo from the plugin execute the knee mapping plugin in in our case the seat is already the dummy and the uh, occupant are already positioned select the slider configuration of the driver seat once you select the co slider configuration of the driver seat the slider joint is added automatically Next, select the driver seat cushion ID. The name is displayed automatically. Click on the click on click on select the dummy, and the tool will automatically pick the dummy. Go to next page. The left and right joints of the dummy have already been picked automatically. The next step is to pick the PIDs of the floor and the adjoining PIDs to the leg and feet that come in contact with the feet and the legs. Pick the PIDs of the fascia, all the PIDs of the IP that come in contact with the dummy during the impact.
select the pelvis body id the node on the gas pedal a node on the right foot sole all these processes are done to align the legs with the pedal and the footrest a node on the footrest and say position legs Now you can choose the option to maintain the enough space for legs or not based on your requirement. Going to the next page, here you will be positioning the knee with respect to the IP. Select the node on the knee and the corresponding node on the IP. The user has an option always to fix the hands here, but in this example, I'm executing without fixing the hands. Move the dummy and the seat. Once you execute this command, the seat moves automatically the knees the knee also gets aligned with the knee impact point the final step is once this once this process is done generate a ls dyna keyword file and these files are ready to run now going to the next point next chapter the now this is regarding the hpm pre and post simulation this plugin is used to generate a prelim simulation model in LS Dyna that will allow the user to calculate the theoretical edge point as well as the initial torso angle at the design position of the seat. The process of defining the edge point and the seat reference point through the HPN plugin is based on Euro NCAP Whiplash protocol. Now, the plugin is designed to aid the user in positioning the tool on the seat, set the required boundary conditions. And finally, post process the Dyna results to determine the edge point and back angle. Now, let's run a quick demo here. What you see is a seat from the crash and safety tool. Import the HPM ATD. Once you import the ATD, you do see that the HPM ATD is not in position with the seat. Select the AT, uh, HPM ATD pan, seat pan, then the back pan, the seat cushion, and the seat panel. Define the back pan rotation configuration ID. Back angle, say 30 degrees, create contact and position. So in the first step, what we have done is you have positioned the back pan and the pan with respect to the seat. In the second option, second this we will position the legs. Select a node on the on the right heel, then a node on the left heel. Left heel. Select the nodes respectively on the floor. Select the right foot kinematic body. right knee configuration then the left knee configuration select the two nodes on the knee 
to measure the knee to knee distance based on the regulations and execute the command. Next, here the user needs to fill in the unit system, damping, the backbone bracket PID and the revolute joint ID required for running the LS Dyna simulation. Select the force application node ID. And constraint the seat track. Apply a species. Once done, the user has an option to output the files as a monolithic file or read only file. Now, the, once you submit a LS Dyna run, you have an option to use the node out file to calculate the angles, the back angle and the edge point. So from crash and safety, launch the HPM post, load the node out file, input the input the edge point accelerometer ID and the HPM weight bar central accelerometer ID and say OK. The tool goes, calculates the edge point XYZ coordinates and the back angle. Now going to the next topic, passenger airbag modeling. The PAB module helps the user to switch the bag and fit the bag in the module using ANSA morph tool. Uh, the plugin is designed to first to import the CAD, orient and prepare, apply the boundary conditions and other required parameters to solve the LS Dyna. Import the solution from the LS Dyna. Use the morphing tool to morph the back into the module and finally run a deployment, test deployment. Now, let's run a small demo here. We go to the plugins, launch the passenger airbag plugin, import the CAD of the airbag panels, split the CAD into, ask, into square sections. The good part about this wizard is all the required tools to build this model are available in the same window. The user need not go back and forth to other windows. So here we split into square, square, square patches. Define new PIDs. Run the batch mesh command. The user. Uh, uh, we have four minutes remaining uh, I and we have a couple of questions already. Okay. Uh, I will skip this demo, but the user can always come back to us in this. My last thing is regarding the airbag uh, simulation. Uh, the purpose of the tool is to guide the user to easily set up a less than a simulation model for airbag folding. The first one is where he chooses the folding pattern. Currently, we support three types, generic, BFG, and tuck. Input the uh, input the, uh, then he needs to input the required airbag file and folding tools. Define the curve, required curves, boundary, and constraint. Require, define the beam elements constraint. And finally, the control cards and output it to LS Dyna. From version 22, the generic airbag has been updated to He's been updated with new more uh, new more developments. One, all the automatic calculation of the folding distance is now possible. The tool automatically calculates the dimensions of the folding tool. The user must select the target point for each folding tool and press and press the create curves for rotational movement. One more important feature is the implementation of beam element form element in order to enhance the simulation quality. Second one is highlight is automatic creation of boundary prescribed motions. And finally, 
the option to check the movement of the folding tools in desired prior to the solution.